Here's some subcaudal scales. Snake was here. Litter is something that uh, snake hunters have a complicated relationship with. Obviously, it's pretty hard to see things like this in the woods. And, you know, it sucks that people come out here and do this. Like, they couldn't just take this to the dump, throw it out, or do anything responsible with it. But the great thing is that snakes love hiding under artificial cover objects like this. So when I see something like this, I get pretty excited. And I tend to flip it over, and sometimes there's snakes under it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to flip some of this junk, and we're going to see what we can find. Oh, I'm toad. Hmm. Ew. That was gross. His tires actually look pretty good as far as tires go. Oh, I noticed some wasps flying up out of the carpet. God, there's wasps in everything. <laughs> oh, milk, milk, milk. Here we go. Here we go. Well, we have a milk snake. It's not the prettiest one ever. In this area, they can be pretty red, and uh, this one's just kind of like a maroon color. Uh, I've definitely seen prettier in this area, but uh, happy to get something so far. We are on the board. I'm going to, oh, trying to bite me. Yeah, I'm just going to take a couple cell phone pictures and then send him on his way. Well, turns out this snake is in shed and ready to shed. It's shedding in my hands as we speak. That's pretty cool. A little bit more vibrant under there. All right, well, I think that snake's quite a bit more attractive now that it finished shedding. And I should note that you should only assist a snake in shedding if the shed is coming off in your hands very easily without sort of tugging at it or doing anything like that. Because making a snake shed too early is actually quite bad for a snake, as you might imagine. But yeah, this guy's got a pretty cool head. I think that's neat. It's not, still not the most vibrant individual, but it's a nice reddish color, and uh, I think that head is pretty cool. Well guys, I was really optimistic that today was gonna to be a good day. It just felt good. And uh, I challenged myself to just mostly explore new spots, which uh, inherently is gonna result in less snakes unless you really, you know, kind of hit the jackpot. So I'm still kind of doing that now. And when it cools down, I'm gonna get flipping again and jump back to some cover that I'm more familiar with. Jesus, the flies are awful right here. This is crazy. Hang on, look at this. My window, I might regret this. mouse well, all right folks I hate to say it we're losing light right now and uh, we are flipping 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 driving and flipping moving as fast as we can to try to get to more flip spots and try to save the day um, I'm hoping we can pull something off this looks pretty good All right, can we save the day right here? My expectations are very low. Uh, 
racers and red bellies. Ooh, hey, we're in the racer phase, huh? Here, hang on, I'll take a picture of that, like that. Hey, I mean, a racer under a cover is a good sign. Yeah. I'm hoping maybe the red belly's still there. All right, you can lower it back down. Racer under it. No one home. Oh, finally, something. Timber crossing the road with no rattle. He's trying to rattle, but he can't. Man, it's a big, ugly male timber. <laughs> big, ugly guy. And look at that, no rattle on his tail. It's broken. Uh, I don't think someone cut it off. Oh, he's big. Yeah, look at that. That's, oh, look, he's coiling. Was the tail funny like that? Oh, man. It's been a long weekend, huh? Look, we're going to get a good view of his tail there. Maybe his tail burnt off. Yeah, it could, could maybe burn. Oh man, it feels so good just to see anything right now. Man, that's that's uh, it's a big snake. So you you just males, you oh yeah, definite tail? male. Yeah. Did you get the tail at all? Uh, I want. I did when it was slithering. Yeah. I wish I could get a picture of the tail, but I know sometimes what happens is the rattle get really long on an older snake, and then. Uh, eventually it'll break off, right. like it'll catch on something and then yeah, yeah. break and then... Comes brittle, probably. Yeah, and then it can just, uh, grow back. But, man, yeah, we just saw the tail, yeah. like, drooped no. over the edge of the road. And he was I, I, man, I got so excited because it's just been such a drought all weekend. I was watching it for, like, a while out and I was just like, that's a snake. Yeah, then you could see the pattern moving. Alright guys, it has been an absolute drag of a weekend for me. I thought it was going to be a good weekend. I rolled the dice, spent the whole weekend down here, and I found that milk snake, which was a little lackluster, um, but always happy to see a rattlesnake in this region. We just, we're kind of cutting from spot to spot. It's the middle of the day, nothing special about right now. It's hot and pretty dry, but uh, yeah, we caught a glimpse of this rattlesnake, and it's got no tail, which is pretty neat. Big one. Um, as you can see, I'm in the bushes right now, and it luckily just kind of coiled like this which is awesome, and uh, I'm sure it'll head on its way once we do, so we're gonna leave it where it is and keep moving, hopefully find some more stuff. All right, we're out for a little walk. Whoa, he's flying. <laughs> oh, that was a water snake. He's over there now. You can see him down in there. Kind of right there. Well, uh, it feels like we have just been driving and driving and driving and driving and not finding snakes today. And I was just talking to John, I'm like, how many times have we done this lately? It feels like every time we're out here lately, we get to a point in the weekend, which sometimes is the whole weekend, where we're just kind of skunking and uh, not seeing much. And uh, then we just are like, yeah, maybe we'll just get lucky and something will cross the road. So we just kind of drive aimlessly. And I guess technically today it worked. I mean, we got a timber in the middle of the day. Usually I see those in the evening. And uh, we're just hoping that we get lucky in some, some way, shape, or form. So uh, other than that, man, it's been a grind. All right, I just flipped this piece of concrete right here. And I was wondering today, wow. whoa, whoa, what's it doing? Why was it doing that? Oh, it almost got away. I was wondering why we weren't seeing any red-bellied snakes today. And the reason why is because the gravid females have already given birth. This is pretty early. Look how teeny that little snake is. Do you see the way it was coiling like that? Mm -hmm. Look at that for reference in my hand. Dude, that's so tiny. That's really cool, actually. So red-bellied snakes give live birth, and uh, that means that they do not lay eggs. Like a timber rattlesnake, they have these little babies, like a dozen or so of them, in their stomach all summer, and they gestate under rocks and cover objects until finally giving birth in, uh, in August, usually. Look at that. 
Well, I did not know they gave birth already, but baby snake season is pretty much upon us. That's crazy. I'll let this guy go. These guys have really stuck with me the whole weekend, so snakes didn't show up, but these guys are, are there for me when the snakes aren't. Look at them. Wow. That's actually insane, though, if you see that. All right, can we get redemption? I mean, well, we, it's been a bad weekend, but <laughs> at least we got that timber. That's the saving grace. There's water in there. Oh! Whoa, that's, that's nice. nice. Hang on, hang on. Hang. Dude, we should... Let me get a picture of that. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Um, not sure. That's really pretty. Really, really nice white, clean white. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad way to end the weekend. I mean, it's a better looking milk than the last one I got. The head is pretty nice too. That's that's pretty good red color as well. Yeah, dude, that's nice. Look at that white on there. He's got a meal in him, so I'm trying to be gentle. But man, that is awesome. Whew, we needed that after today. That was brutal. That's a sweet looking milk snake. Very different than what we're used to too. I mean, all that white on it. Look at its leather. And yeah, look at that big meal in it. All right, so this milk snake is uh, pretty active and it's got a meal in it, so we're trying to keep it brief, but I just want to show you guys how cool that thing is. That's a good view of him right there. Would make for a good picture, honestly, but I didn't even pull my camera out. That's beautiful. All right, well, that's not such a bad way to end a brutal weekend. We're probably going to check a couple more pieces of cover on our way out, but I think that's going to be it for this video. I know it was a bit of a shorter one. Life's been a little bit hectic lately, but I've got a really cool series coming up that I think you guys are going to love. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.